Hi boys. I have a question for the men. What the f do you want? Let your soul gravitate to the love, y'all, y'all. Killing people dying, children hurt, and you hear them crying. Can you practice? I feel like men are really hard on women these days just because we're expected to be these boss ladies. Lady. Not one man wants you to be a boss, babe. Literally not a single man cares how much you make, what degree you have, etc. It is all in their head, and they don't even realize it. Did you know that effective communication could solve all the world's problems? That's what most people believe, especially women. However, in reality, only a minority of individuals are truly interested in utilizing this virtue to create a better world. If you've ever used a dating app, you've probably come across many women stating that they desire a communicative, understanding, and gentlemanly partner. These qualities are indeed admirable, and it's understandable why anyone would want women to genuinely seek these traits rather than anything else. But what's the point of being overly sentimental and demanding if women end up being attracted to the bad boys, engaging in numerous casual relationships, and losing their ability to form deep emotional connections? On the surface, a woman may appear innocent, but her behavior might indicate otherwise. What do you guys think is the worst like quality trait in woman now in this generation? Being a hoe. Yeah, being a hoe. <laughs> Simple. For being wifed up. Yeah, being being a hoe for being wiped up. Yeah, because that's the most embarrassing. That's by far the most embarrassing. You can settle with a girl that might be a little masculine. Masculine. You can settle with a girl that ain't like the most attractive. Hell, you can even settle with a girl that's a little pudgy. She could lose the weight. That's all fixable. But um, if a girl is like, like just a hoe, it's like, bro, you can't fix that. Yeah. You know. So it is what. It, and, and the problem is that it makes you look bad as a guy. That's where, where, the, where the issue is. It's embarrassing. Yeah, for men. It's like the worst. Myron makes an excellent point. You can date a woman who doesn't have a perfect physique or conventionally attractive looks and still find her to be a great partner. However, if she carries a lot of baggage from her past, she may not be the best option for a healthy relationship. In today's video, we will delve into the misconceptions that women have about men and why society misleads them into believing that all men want is physical intimacy. Stay tuned because I'm sure you're going to love this one. Before we proceed, let's take a moment to acknowledge the comment of the day. Shout out to Sci-Fi Tsunami who said, I deserve a woman that will pay all my bills. Unfortunately, that is a privilege only a woman can get. Please reach out to us by email to claim your $5. As always, I'll select a comment from each video, whether it's the funniest, most liked, or one that deeply resonates with me. So don't forget to leave a comment for a chance to be our next winner. We're about to hit 30,000 subscribers, so consider supporting the channel. And and without you guys, this channel would not be where it is. So now let's get back to the video. Embrace your masculinity. The saying goes, actions speak louder than words. This rings particularly true for men who embrace the philosophy of going their own way, adopting a monk mode, or following related lifestyles. These approaches stem from the lack of honesty and transparency in relationships. Modern women often state that they want one thing, but when they get it, they become angry because they actually wanted something else. Being in a relationship can be complex and unfulfilling unless a woman is a loyal and understanding partner. What's a red flag about you? I'm kind of like combative, like I don't like submitting to a man, like I like being dominant like over my man. That's actually surprising. I mean, you're only 6'2", your eyes don't work. <laughs> In reality, women are increasingly being misled by society. Various forms of media, including the entertainment industry, along with other influential figures, suggest that traditional gender roles such as cooking, cleaning, raising a family, and being attentive to a partner's needs are oppressive and dishonorable to the so-called sisterhood, if such a concept even exists. Instead of embracing cooperation and support, which is what most men desire, women are encouraged to focus on their performance in the bedroom. However, this is not a priority for men and can even be off-putting. 
So would you settle down with a nice guy or a bad boy? I would like a mix of both because I would eat him up and swallow him, spit him out if he's too nice. No comment. No comment. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the no comment as like an agreement that you like bad boys. Sure. Sure. I like girls. Because we think we can fix them. Literally. I, I like a good project. Yeah. A little DIY. A little DIY action? Yeah. So why don't you like nice guys? You can kind of take advantage of them a little bit, you know what I mean? And I don't like doing that. Because they break their hearts and girls like the adrenaline rush. I don't like bad boys. They're f boys and f bad boys. What kind of, so what, that's <laughs> the best laugh I've heard all night. What makes nice guys boring? They're a little too safe, even though they're probably the right option. Maybe girls want to be with like something a little crazy for a little while the, until they're ready to settle down. The craziness is fun until you're ready to settle down. Once you're ready to settle down, you want the nice guy. Exactly. White picket fence, yes. 401k. Okay. It's a phase. It's a phase. It's a phase. It's, a phase. it's just, it's not a phase, mom. It keeps the relationship yeah. fresh, a little spicy, you know, a little toxicity. Are you guys toxic though? The common life cycle of modern women is sleeping around with a bunch of men, ghosting some of them, and getting ghosted by some bad boys. And once the biological clock starts ticking, all they want is marrying a walking ATM. I mean, nice guy. Now you want to come back to me after the carousel? Thank you, but no thank you. Typically, men do not desire to marry or date a promiscuous partner, let alone a woman who maintains connections with her exes or comes back just because it's convenient. If a woman has a history of engaging in casual relationships, she may be prone to going back to an ex or resorting to a backup option from her waiting list at any given time. Furthermore, if an argument arises within the relationship, it is not uncommon for her to quickly find a new partner and engage in infidelity. So but, you expect the girl to okay, be the loyal most, to you before on the first date? That is probably the most attractive thing a girl could do. But it's not is reciprocated. Is saying, I'm not seeing other guys right now. I'm just talking to you. That is probably the most attractive thing a girl could do I, or that say. Is, that's I can not guarantee value you in that on a first date. I can guarantee you that on a third. But I mean, on the first day, I'm still feeling it out. And then... If a woman truly wants to understand what men want, she can start by following this simple advice. Listen. Surprisingly, many men still approach relationships with an idealistic perspective, meaning they are morally incapable of pursuing multiple sexual partners. Yes, as much as some men may fantasize about being bad boys and engaging in casual encounters, there are still plenty of men who prefer committed relationships with one woman. The problem arises when these men become disillusioned because women often text multiple men simultaneously and use them for specific purposes. To illustrate this point further, here's an insightful perspective from a woman that explains why men go solo. Third wave feminism, single parent household, social media, and woke Hollywood indoctrination have damaged her idea of reality. Modern feminism, is teaching women to dislike anything masculine. Anything male becomes toxic. In the old days, women loved being called feminine. It was a compliment. And they appreciated gender differences. Nowadays, they're trying to destroy gender differences, and the ones they can't, they call toxic. If her values, beliefs, and long-term goals don't align with yours, don't waste your time. If she treats you mean, she's mean. If she uses you, she's a user. This woman is brutally honest and recognizes the unhealthy dynamics present in the current dating landscape, along with the insane indoctrination going on. On top of that, the high cost of living and the emotional damage inflicted by past partners serves as valid reasons for choosing to be single, at least temporarily. It's interesting to observe how some modern women claim they're open to being with the nice guy while also being the primary breadwinners. Terms like partnership are replacing the word relationship due to the influence of the political correctness movement. However, it's questionable whether these women are genuinely willing to build a business and endure the accompanying stress. They want to have their cake and eat it too. By chance, I came across an article that compares women's perceptions of what men want with the actual desires of men. What makes it even more significant is that the author of the article is a woman. It's refreshing to see someone paying attention to men's preferences and desires. Some of her points are genuinely intriguing, so let's delve deeper into them. One of the things that never ceases to amaze me is how often men and women tend to assume things about the opposite sex. It's something we've all been guilty of at one point or another, especially when it comes to likes and dislikes. 
At times, the misunderstandings we have about what the opposite sex wants can lead to hilarious TV sitcom style dates that end up being something we can laugh about later on. Other times, they can lead to you staying involuntarily single for a very long time. Ever wonder what you're doing wrong when it comes to attracting guys? I know I do, and that's why I often ask my guy friends my most pressing questions about what men think and want. Like with many of my other chats, my male friends had a lot to say. Below is a list of qualities and behaviors women think men like, but that guys actually say they hate. Listen up, ladies, because these things are not sexy at all to men. 1. Vocal fry. That strange creakiness at the end of words that was considered to be super sexy a couple years back, but the truth is that guys can't stand it. It sounds unnatural coming from most girls, which in turn makes guys feel like they're talking to a disingenuine person. 2. Having a model style body. Yes, guys do like this, however, they don't often want to settle down with girls who are too good looking. They often believe that they're setting themselves up to get cheated on, or worse, setting themselves up for rejection. The end effect is that they might be okay with a fling with a girl who's way better looking than they are, but not with a relationship. As hard as it is to believe, this has actually been backed by science and statistics. 3. Being dumb. I can't understand why girls think guys want them to play dumb. Most guys find girls who are dumb to be pretty terrible, especially for long-term relationships. If you want to get into a relationship, stupidity isn't what you should be trying to flaunt. Note, men want coachable, non-combative women, but if a chick cannot even name three countries, she's not a good catch. What would you do if I couldn't cook? You'd be single. Can you cook? That's irrelevant. No, can you cook though? I mean, can you fight? Let's, exactly, let's ask pointless questions. How is that a pointless question? Because, I'm trying to get to know you. Because that's your job. What's my job? To make sandwiches. Did he actually just say, my job is to make sandwiches? How am I gonna fight off the intruders if you don't make sandwiches? I need sustenance. You're a Despite his tendency to go on rants, he is correct in his assertions. Men who have certain preferences when it comes to choosing a partner are often labeled as misogynistic, while women who create lengthy lists of requirements similar to job postings are seen as having standards. This double standard is frustrating. Let's continue exploring the points made in the article. 4. Having childlike tantrums. I have personally seen women who claim that literally stomping your feet and pouting would make men melt. No, this doesn't really work at all. The girls I've seen who believe this are still single. Shocking, I know. 5. Overly plumped lips. There's this weird trend where girls are getting crazy large quantities of lip injections to give them a Kylie Jenner pout. Of all the things women think men like but actually hate, this one takes the cake. This isn't as attractive to men as girls believe it to be, it often ends up looking fake and causes women to get perma duck face. 6. Being purposefully trashy. A lot of girls think that being trashy and sleazy will get men to be interested. This is true, assuming that you're looking for hookups. This is because it makes you seem way more open to sex. However, most guys will cite trashy clothing and behavior as a major turnoff when they are trying to find a wife. 7. The Damsel in Distress Ploy It may have worked for the Disney princesses, but in reality, most men can't stand seeing a girl who can't take care of herself. Having to take care of another adult is exhausting, and it makes you lose respect for them quickly. The only men who do go for girls who pull this are not men who are capable of a healthy relationship, so don't do it. Women often assume that men want someone who matches their idea of a perfect woman, however, Men simply want a woman to be herself. Most men aren't looking for a woman to rescue them from financial problems or fulfill specific criteria. Men who are genuinely seeking a partner desire authenticity, loyalty, obedience, and basic qualities. They understand that women are not flawless and they do not expect them to possess exceptional sexual skills. Instead, they prioritize finding a woman with integrity, someone who won't betray their trust or cheat on them. Your friend was your man. They he, used to date first, and then I went out with him, and then he cheated on me with her. What'd you expect, oh, though? That should be yeah, normal. That's still f***ed 
up. No, it's not. You that's likely, it's baby. That's very it's likely. It's, it's, she got hit first. I mean, so basically, she broke up with him, and then he had sex with her on their break or something like that. No, friend. no, because of the past, he fucked her again. And they dated like a while ago before I started dating him. So did he hide it from you, or just like you found out randomly? I found out randomly. To keep this video concise, let's touch on one more point. Women often believe that men want a girl they can rescue, but in reality, men desire a strong woman who can take care of herself. This might seem confusing, so pay attention. The author of the article mentions, What's frustrating about old fairy tales and Disney movies is the portrayal of a damsel in distress who constantly needs saving. Some girls grew up believing this is how they should behave in relation to men. While most men enjoy being protective and taking care of their partners, they also want their partners to be independent and capable of looking after themselves. Men do not wish to be constantly worried or fussing over their partners, as it can lead to an unhealthy and dependent relationship. A man doesn't need his partner to diminish herself just to make him feel like a real man. She's just got to know that her role is being inspirational to him. Let's be realistic, men are aware that women often seek partners who are above their own status, so the concept of equality can seem highly idealistic. However, men genuinely don't want to be consumed by constant worry about their partners. That's why confident men may set boundaries that prevent their partners from going to clubs, taking girls trips, or having girls nights out. Moreover, many men have already experienced the consequences of playing the role of Prince Charming or Captain save -a In conclusion, both genders are being influenced and brainwashed by society, leading to dysfunctional relationships. In truth, things should be much simpler, and men do not ask for much beyond the three Fs, respect, loyalty, and other fundamental qualities. Intimacy, although often portrayed as the ultimate goal, is actually secondary. It's important not to succumb to the decay of moral values encouraged by society. So, stay strong guys, as always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What are your thoughts? What other misconceptions do women have about men's desires? Do women genuinely want to understand what men want? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you might win $5. Thank you for watching. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to stay updated on future uploads. Leave a comment and share it with others. See you in the next video, guys. Until next time.